The 12 days of secret Christmas, the 12 days of secret Christmas, the 12 days of secret Christmas, and that's, that's all we got. Hey guys, it's the 12 days of secret Christmas. I haven't changed from the last video. Um, I just wanted to do an intro for you while I'm eating oranges about the upcoming video about pins. It's been a great year for pins. I had such a great time on my honeymoon in this new world. I want so many pins. It's crazy how many pins they have there. Um, definitely rivals the pins <laughs> in Disneyland. I met so many awesome people. I made so many good trades. I had my first successful trade over pin picks. It's been amazing. Thank you so much to anybody who's reached out to me about trades. I hope that you are having an awesome year. And I look forward to pin trading with you in the future. So here is... All of my pins are currently up to date. As of today. That's right. As of today. Um, the other one you may not see is the one that I just received. But I'll try and figure it out. <laughs> Send me a message on pin picks if you are interested in any trades. If you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer them. Just ask me in the comments below. Or you can contact me on pin picks, whichever is easiest, or even on the Tumblr. Guys, so happy pin trading! Recording. Remember, the background of these things do not matter. It's just some random phone that I've used. No preference. And most of these are going to be hidden Mickey's mystery pins, a few limited editions. If you see any duplicates, they are 100% up for trade. Please contact me. If you see something that's not a duplicate, please still reach out to me. Um, I'm not overly attached to anything in particular, but if I am, I will tell you and I'll just say, sorry, I'm, I'm not up for the trade. The other thing to note is that in the past, I have received pins from eBay. Now, this, mind you, has been a few years back, but 100%, if I believe something is a scrapper, uh, different color, different glaze on the front, incorrect background print on the back, incorrect or poorly spelt logo on the back, wobbly pin post, I will not trade it to you. Most of the scrappers that I have, that I've kept, are actually because I want to keep them. They're kind of cool looking to me. The rest of them, the ones that I would never trade in the park or with anyone on pin picks I actually give to my siblings because they don't go to the parks as often as I do and they like to collect them so no scrappers um, just something I want to address because you will see a few in this video if you want to take more time and look at these pictures they all are on my tumblr which is the collector.tumblr.com so you can look at them more closely um, so there are a few in here you'll see cast member exclusives limited editions like I said um, a few of these for instance, the princess one is a great example. The color is a little bit wonky, but in that case, I was just trying to complete the set, so I don't mind. Now we're getting into limited editions. Look at these guys. Those locks. Love them. These little mystery collars that I got. Love them. These portraits. Here, um, the top Cinderella in pink and white. Definitely a scrapper. She's got no eyes, but I love her. She's so weird. Pinomation, some hats. Uh, you'll see there I got some mystery packs when I was in Disney World. The shoes. I was so excited when the Diva shoes came out. Some real characters. Um, the fans on the right hand side are from Epcot, so they're not official Disney trading, trading pins. The Spectro Magics, I now have Flora as well, so I have all three of the fairies. I do have another one of the Disney villains. Unleashed, that's up on pin picks for you. Uh, the Imagineering pins, love them. And then of course the D23, some more limited edition. Uh, that's a Halloween one that's kind of got the glare on it. Some Disney Movie Rewards pins, as well as the Birthstones. I was sad they didn't have one for this year. Um, the Steampunks, which are pretty popular. I'd like to collect them all one day. Got some piece of movie history, this larger Yoda pin, which I loved annual pass holders. I wish I could have collected all of the Disney World ones this year, but oh well. Don't ask me why this is blurry, but I thought it was an awesome pin. Sorcerer Mickey's, I will never say no to. He's my number one character. I cannot wait to collect all the pins possible. Stretch portraits, and that Olaf in the top corner is Disney Movie Club. And that's it guys. Feel free to contact me on Pinpix, and thanks for watching. Bye bye